In previous video, we have seen the definition and concept of limit. Let us solve few examples of this limit. Okay, so let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find the value of this limit. Let us start. What will I do? I will consider limit x tends to 2. What we have limit x tends to 2 x square minus 4 upon x minus 2. If I put directly x is equal to 2, we will have 0 at numerator as well as 0 at denominator. So we cannot put directly. We need to think over it. We need to simplify and we will always try to cancel uh, if possible few terms. Okay. So see, as you know, a square minus b square, this is equal to a plus b, a minus b. Definitely this formula we can use here. Let us use for numerator. What will you get? Limit x tends to 2 x plus 2 x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. So that bracket x minus 2 will get cancelled. So we will have limit x tends to 2 x plus 2, right? After that, we can simply put x is equal to 2 here. I am applying limit. So I am putting x is equal to 2. So 2 plus 2, 4. So the value of this limit is 4. Yes, this limit exists and its value is 4. Make a screenshot of it. Then we will discuss next example. Okay, so let us discuss this next example. So you can find similarity between previous example and this example. Okay, so here we have to prove the same thing which we have calculated in previous example, but we have to use epsilon delta definition to prove this. Okay, so what is function here? Let me write it first. We have what is a function? This one f of x is equal to x square minus 4 upon x minus 2. We have to use epsilon delta definition. Let us take epsilon first. And for that epsilon, we have to find a suitable delta, which will satisfy the definition. Let epsilon greater than 0 be given. Now, what will we do? First of all, we will do some basic calculation. That means I will find the value of mod f of x minus that limit. Okay. And we will simplify it first and then we will go for selection delta. Okay. So see, consider I am considering mod f of x minus 4. Since finally we have to prove that, that this is less than epsilon. So let us simplify it first. What is my f of x? x square minus 4 upon x minus 2, right? Minus 4, we have 4. Can you tell me what can we do now? Yes, definitely we can cross multiply. So if you cross multiply x square minus 4, if you cross multiply minus 4x minus minus plus 8 divided by x minus 2, right? So few terms probably will get cancelled. Yes, 8 plus 8 minus 4 getting. So we'll have 4 only plus 4. Let me write that thing here. So this is equal to mod x square minus 4x plus 4 upon x minus 2. This is equal to. Can you tell me the next step? Yes. The numerator is a square of some bracket and that bracket is x minus 2. So that's why I can write mod x minus 2 square divided by x minus 2. So one bracket will get cancelled and we will have simply mod x minus 2. That means we solve this mod f of x minus 4 and after solving finally we got this is nothing but mod x minus 2. After that we have to select our delta. We choose, we choose delta is equal to here we have to select our delta but in some cases it will be difficult to select delta here. So what will we do? We will keep it blank. We will go further and after solving few steps we will come to know, we will realize, yes, this delta we should select. So that definition will be satisfied. So I'm keeping it blank and I'm going further. So then 0 less than mod x minus 2 less than delta implies, okay, I'm simply writing the definition, epsilon delta definition of limit implies mod f of x minus mod, this is f of x minus 4. We had to prove that this is less than epsilon. Okay. This value already we have calculated and we have got it is mod x minus 2. So let me write that thing mod x minus 2. Here also we have mod x minus 2 and we have already written it is less than delta. 
so it will be less than delta right so but what we have to show we have to show that this is less than epsilon so my choice of delta should be epsilon getting so in this way we guess what should be our delta so delta should be epsilon so that's why we can write this is equal to epsilon so what we get finally mod f of x minus 4 is less than epsilon yes definition is satisfied and we can say yes this is a required limit so therefore i can write therefore therefore limit x tends to 2 f of x is equal to 4 in this way we proved and now what is our f of x this is our f of x okay so you can make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye